all right everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce makes sense and this is the beginning of one of the most sought after master classes or curriculum that pretty much every salesforce resource should know about and wants to learn yes this is the salesforce developer master class in this master class or in this curriculum we'll be going through pretty much start to end on how you become a salesforce developer all that you need to know right so let's get let's get started and first of all what to expect in this particular master class so this course will enable you to understand custom development for sure this is something for a salesforce developer right so if you are someone who's looking to start your career as a salesforce developer or you are someone who's starting as an admin and wants to switch as a developer or you want to learn all the concepts as a developer this is the right place to be and all of that you need to learn is something that you can expect from this masterclass right in terms of the custom development we'll be primarily focusing on apex which is the server side language of salesforce and we'll be learning all about it right and this masterclass is going to build you as a developer so that you can start working with clients and write custom code efficiently that would be my target with this particular masterclass and curriculum and as we progress into our lectures you'll realize that you are becoming a developer and you have what it takes to be a salesforce rockstar right a lot of us lack confidence in whether we can deliver something or not when it comes to custom implementation but yes i'll try my best through my lectures and these tutorials that you get that confidence and you become that salesforce developer that rockstar that every client would want to work with yeah now who is this for if you are starting to look at this video and you are you're thinking whether this is for me or not let's let's understand whether this fits for you or not so this is for you if you are looking to switch jobs and showcase interviewers that they can hire you as a developer right showcasing your skills as a developer and if you are wanting to switch jobs probably for a better pay or maybe because of the work culture and you want to showcase your salesforce development skills that you are a server side engineer who can work on salesforce and pretty much write custom code this is for you this is for you if you're new to salesforce and you want to jump directly into coding i've seen a lot of resources directly start salesforce development which is good i would not say that it is wrong i would say this is good if you have a prior background of coding and you want to directly start writing custom code and integrate components all together and while you do that you want to learn salesforce administration along with it definitely you can do that and this curriculum will take you from the very beginning of salesforce to the custom code implementation all right this is for you if you are a salesforce administrator currently and you want to skill up and become a developer right if you are currently an administrator who knows his way or her way around configuration and uh, you know no code development or pick and drop point and click kind of configuration and you want to start writing code so that uh, you can upskill yourself you can get better salaries and you can actually work as a code developer in your team this is for you right and this is for you if you want to learn custom development from the very basics and become an expert in it i am considering you know nothing about it you're pretty much a grade one student in the life in in the in this whole world of salesforce ecosystem and that's how i'll be taking up my tutorial so that you understand the very basics and once the foundation is clear i'm sure you'll rock it wherever you want to implement it yes cool now what do we cover as part of this entire curriculum or this master class this is not just one master class this is going to be a series of series of tutorials coming your way you might not be able to do this in one sitting for sure because this is a vast syllabus pretty much everything i've learned in my last seven years and uh, a lot of it will be in this particular curriculum and a lot of helpful stuff will come up but essentially what do we cover let's talk about that we are going to start with fundamentals we'll understand the architecture behind salesforce the architecture behind development we'll do a deep dive into apex we'll understand the oops concepts oops is not a song from rihanna or king oops is the object oriented uh, programming structure that you should be aware of then you have triggers you have errors and ex exceptions we'll work on writing test classes for your code coverage we'll understand what is synchronous and asynchronous apex we'll talk about some best practices we'll understand what tools to use we'll figure out 
how to write queries what are our limitations when we are on a platform like salesforce we'll talk about some interview questions we'll talk about some mock assignments we'll talk about security and sharing in salesforce we'll talk a bit about integration as well a lot of this is going to be covered in this curriculum so stay tuned who is this guy teaching us right all of a sudden you landed on this video this tutorial and you're thinking who is this guy teaching us right so if you are new to this uh, platform uh, hi i'm imanshu and i am a 10x certified salesforce enabler i don't like to talk about my certifications that's just a number but yes i definitely like to call myself a salesforce enabler because that's what i try to do i try to enable salesforce for students for clients for businesses i try to do that i try to add value by my skills as a salesforce core engineer to help businesses drive value out of it right that's my that's that's how i would like to put it a salesforce enabler i have courses on udemy uh, playlists on youtube we are we are mentoring people across the globe and i have a good healthy community of about 5000 subscribers as of today which is a very good community and all the feedback that i keep getting on my tutorials is amazing which is why i tend to do more and more of curriculum and master classes right the other side of imanshu which people might not know about because they just look at the salesforce side of it is more into reading a lot of non-fiction self-help books uh investing into the indian equity market and even even um, uh, international markets and a bit of singing or probably you know staying associated with the keyboard or the guitar or you know just some vocals so that's the other side of imanshu and that that guy is a completely different guy than what you hear here uh this this person that you're talking to is the himanshu who's the salesforce enabler but that guy is a completely different person who loves a lot of other things yeah so that's all about who is this guy teaching us and that's that's me hi now where can this course lead you to right we take a lot of time into understanding or you know paying for courses um, we take a lot of we take a look at a lot of free, free lectures we take a look at look at lot of documentation available but a lot of time we don't think about the time we are investing on that particular course and whether or not that's fruitful for us or not right so setting up the agenda clearly before we start or before you invest your time into it you can just take a look at where this course can lead you to right so the salesforce market is a candidate driven market with a steep learning curve and fantastic salaries and a super innovative platform right if you have if you are already on the salesforce ecosystem you know about it if you are someone new or you who is looking to switch into the salesforce ecosystem this is a this is a path that 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 does not need a lot of changes in terms of you know whether i have to be relevant after 5 years how do i stay relevant whether i have to learn another technology or not there are a lot of questions when you when you sign up into this it journey this life of a professional or an engineer 5 or 7 years back when i joined salesforce i was able to say that you know salesforce is here for the next 5 years and the the blessings or or you know the 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 good thing about salesforce is i can say the same thing today as well right salesforce is still the number one crm in the industry and a lot of demand is created because a lot of big, big businesses use salesforce it has a steep learning curve because it's it, salesforce as a platform tries to stay updated with the latest technologies and tries to uh, you know cater to whatever is the customer's demand or the business's demand and which is why it is super innovative it is on the latest technologies and it has a steep learning curve maybe there are six things that you know today as part of your skills but there are three more things that might come up the very next month and you have to be updated so that's how you keep yourself upskilled you keep learning you stay updated and this market let's let's you be in, be in this particular market and and for sure derive and define value right in terms of maybe money or in terms of economics or in terms of you know business value now as an individual you can choose to follow any road map that you want to build your career around right you can choose to be an administrator salesforce has jobs for that you want to be a business analyst you want to be an architect you want to be a consultant or let's say you want to be a code developer who loves to write code or you who wants to earn more by writing good code right so you can opt for any kind of road map follow that road map as a journey and and become that person right 
you can even have domain specific roles let's say you're very good at sales let's say you're very good at the health cloud side of the world you're very good at the commerce side of the world you're very good at the service side of the world you can even choose to be a sales cloud consultant you can choose to be a specific commerce b2b commerce solution architect you can be as specific as you want to be it's just that you have to know or you would have to have that entire knowledge of that particular domain that particular market and you'll have to show your expertise to land jobs or crack interviews on that particular specific role right so this can lead you to all of these different paths that you can choose cool now if you choose a career as a developer why do we just talk about the developer because this is the salesforce developer masterclass right salesforce developer masterclass will help you enable yourself as an admin as a developer and also a future architect correct a solution architect a data architect we'll talk only about the career as a developer here just for the sake of this particular scope of uh, curriculum your job as a, as a developer would be one of the most on demand high paying jobs in the id industry right not many people know how to write code and not many people or very less people know how to write good code right a lot less people who write good code are critical thinkers and then on top of it you should be able to handle deliverables for your client understand their requirements and be very clear in your communication right if you are able to skill yourself and then put yourself in the center of this umbrella that i just talked about that's the best place to be believe me right you can even parallel play the role of an admin because you are a developer you already know the system salesforce in and out as an administrator you'll be able to figure it out very easily so you can be a admin come developer or developer come admin so one resource is working for two different things right so you're saving cost for the company you're saving cost for the business all right your experience as a developer can lead you to becoming a technical lead in your team right you might not want to become a manager who fills out your leave approval or your appraisal you would want to probably work with dedicated engineers who want to work on solutions on on keeping the market updated keeping the business updated with new technologies so you can definitely become a technical lead not a managerial lead but a technical lead in your project and that's where the architect uh, uh, designation comes in and and you can you can bring in solutions and all of that stuff right you can become a technical lead followed by becoming an architect and the journey keeps getting better right lastly you can also give back to the community by mentoring and training youngsters looking to get into this technology right that's the best thing to do you know something just just put it out there that you know something and this is how you know it probably create a tutorial out of it or probably share that with your friends your peers or maybe juniors or maybe people who are looking to crack in any kind of industry or are, are wanting to jump start or kick start their journey right what's what's better than doing that giving back right so you can definitely share all your learnings about whatever you are good in and that will definitely help people coming in in the future right so that's how your career as a developer would look like now what else can you do to expedite your growth right you can take a look at this master class you can take a look at this curriculum we'll work on a lot of things together i'll explain you a uh, hundreds of things in this particular curriculum but what else can you do how can i stand out you might have that question right how do i get an edge right himanshu your tutorials might be viewed by many people but how do i stand out what additional things can i do i have the bandwidth i have the capacity give me more stuff and i can probably uh, propel my career through that so you can definitely boost your skills by not just looking at tutorials doing hands on but also getting certified because somewhere there is an edge when you join interviews right let's say there are three candidates and you have a certification and the same amount of skills with like the other two because you have the certification that proves that okay that certifies that you are are a certified consultant you are a certified developer so you might know your way around the system and that's that increases your probability of uh, being selected right so always look at certifications as credible credible uh, credible uh, placards right on your skill set that that put a stamp that put a label that yeah i i am certified which means i i know about it right take a look at salesforce documentation salesforce has a vast documentation pretty much everything and anything that salesforce does or the way it does is available in the salesforce documentation you want to deep dive into a specific topic take a look at the salesforce documentation right what will this do taking a look at the documentation helps you build that basis that foundation 
right so every topic that exists for development let's say for this curriculum you can always go to the documentation refer it understand better if you are able to you know read that particular documentation understand examples from there a lot of us like to go back to books like to read from books now we are completely digital but a lot of us like to read how we used to you know read and write in schools or in colleges with with those physical books present to us and that's very good that's good to build a foundation reading and understanding line by line and probably highlighting important pointers taking down notes that's the best way to you know put information into your memory or into your brain that's the best way right so if you want to take that extra step always take a look at that salesforce documentation for a specific topic read about it probably for 10 15 minutes you'll get the gist of it and come out of it right and whenever something new comes up you can take a look at the documentation again right the third thing which is one of the most important things and I always preach this in all of my uh, tutorials practice real-time use cases right no one can learn how to ride a car or how to drive a car while playing GTA Vice City right you cannot do a curriculum on your laptop by playing a game and call yourself a driver you cannot excel at let's say soccer or just by playing FIFA you might be digitally good but you will not be physically good it's always better to practice real-time use cases right which means actually being involved in projects taking up tasks for yourself giving yourself challenges and writing code yourself be it in this particular curriculum when I am writing code don't just look at it try to write it yourself try to do it parallelly YouTube or any any platform gives you this option to actually slow down or speed up the, the the speed of the video right so if you are not in that same pace slow down the video but try to write that code yourself every line you write will basically add to your portfolio for sure and that will give you that confidence yeah okay this is how a list is defined this is how a map is defined this is how i have to use a collection this is how i used to have to use a for loop this is i how i need to invoke this action okay this is what i need to write because you have done it you have done it on paper or you have done it on your keyboard you'll remember it for a longer time so what you do is what will matter the more you write code the more you deep think about it the better and faster the growth right you might end up writing one line of code or 10 lines of code but you don't even understand why himanshu wrote it why am i copying it don't don't do that try to think of maybe there's something better that i could have tried maybe himanshu is wrong in this particular code try to give your self those kind of thoughts and try to understand the code with more angles and more possibilities that will derive faster growth cool now this course this entire curriculum can for sure get you certified as a platform developer right and i always say this like the curriculum is not just for attaining a certification but i can assure you if you go through this entire curriculum you will be able to write code yourself for for the companies that you work for for scenarios that you work for for real-time use cases and that is what tells me that you would be a certified platform developer not just one paper of certification right so i want you to take this journey if you are actually looking to skill up or you know transition or maybe probably switch for a better pay or maybe switch for a better uh, challenge take a look at this particular curriculum and you'll use this platform to write good code all right a lot of lecture a lot of philosophical lectures but now let's begin